welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to start a new topic entitled ratio and proportion so in today's video i'm going to look at what is a ratio or what is a ratio what is a ratio so watch this video up to the end as i'm going to define what a ratio is i'm also going to share with you how to write a ratio and what a ratio contains with that being said let's get into today's lesson so in today's lesson we're looking at ratio so what is a ratio so ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities of the same kind ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities of the same kind okay so that is ratio so uh, what I mean here is ratio uh, is the way where you write for instance you want to compare the number of boys in a certain class or a school uh, they are of the same kind in the way that they are all pupils so you can compare the number of boys and girls in a school or in a classroom that is now you come up with a ratio okay so you can say in a classroom where there are four boys there will be how many girls you come up with such kind of a ratio okay all right now let's look at the next point the next point is uh, those two dots you see there they are used to mean two so those two dots you have seen there they mean two okay so those two dots means two okay then the other point you need to know is ratio has no unit so you don't write units to a ratio you just write numbers to represent uh, the ratio of things you are comparing okay now once i've said those three important points you need to consider um let's look at how to write a ratio so how to we write a ratio if we are to write uh, certain information in a ratio form how do we write it okay so let's take a, for instance uh, this example in grade 8b there are 48 girls and 36 boys write the ratio of girls to boys okay so this is the question we're going to demonstrate we're going to use demonstrating on how to write a ratio so the the most important factor in this question is the numbers given the number of girls and the numbers of boys after that you need to consider the ratio given how is it written we are told to write the ratio girls to boys so the number of girls should be should start then the number of boys should be at the end like this so what we need to do is we can write this expression here girls to boys so that you can also guide us so where there is uh, girls you write the number of girls so in this sentence we are told there are 38 girls or oh, there are 48 girls so we're going to write 48 there then we're going to write two because we're just moving uh, the word girl so we're going to write two and then you also write the number of boys which are 36 like that okay once we have done that then we can now uh, write uh, ratios in different the way they can be presented so once i've written that what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove two and put the dots there so you can present a ratio like though i've written 48 to 36 it's also a ratio or we can also simplify it as 48 to 36 i'm getting i'm replacing that to the one of second there on top by those dots two dots which is going to be so 48 to 34 that's how we can read it it's also a ratio as well as we can present a ratio as a fraction we can write a ratio as a fraction where the number on the left side becomes a numerator and the number on the right side becomes a denominator so it can be like this 
and then we say over so the number of girls becomes the numerator and the number of boys becomes the denominator so you can also write a ratio as a fraction remember you don't have to write the names of uh, the, you don't have to write boys or girls even if you write as a fraction always you should remember that a ratio as no unit so you just write 48 over 36 as a ratio so basically this is how you can write a ratio okay if you have got questions you can ask them in the comment section we'll be glad to respond to them otherwise this is what i prepared to share with you thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you